Choosing the right chart library for your React project is always a tricky task. There is a large selection of libraries to choose from. Some specialize in a few chart types, but others focus on providing a larger visualization choice, like providing uh, bubble charts and map charts and tree charts. Some focus on performance, while others may focus on device portability by providing mobile or even uh, server-side support. So in this video, I'll be reviewing five top chart libraries for React. So in this video, I'll be reviewing five top React chart libraries that you can use for your React project. And I'll be uh, looking at different criteria like how many uh, Git, GitHub stars it has and what sort of uh, chart uh, you can uh, create with like SVG, Canvas or HTML and what sort of support for like mobile and server side uh, that it provides. So the first one that we're going to look at is Recharts. Now Recharts it has 15.5k GitHub stars and it produces SVG only graphs and it's very good out of the box. The next one we're going to look at is Victory. Victory has a 7k uh, GitHub stars. It has support for SVG only and it provides mobile support uh, with React Native. So th this is the only one that provides mobile support in this list. The next one is Visex. Visex has 12k stars on GitHub. Uh, it produces SVG charts. It's a bit complex to learn, but very flexible. Anivo Charts has 8.1k GitHub stars and produces SVG canvas and HTML. And this is the only one that produces all three uh, in this list. So, and it provides client and server side support as well. So, it's got very good selling points. And the next one is React Chart JS2. Now this is a, a wrapper for the famous chart.js, the JavaScript library, chart library. So it has uh, 3.6k GitHub stars and it produces canvas um, charts so it's uh, very uh, good on performance and because it's built uh, from the popular chart yes so it's very uh, maintained there. so the first chart and library we're going to look at is the recharts okay recharts is one of the most popular ones in the list uh, it's got uh, 15,643 github stars and it's built with the d3.js and it has support for SVG only. And it has no support for mobile and it's basically a client-side uh, library. One of the uh, uh, disadvantages is it's got very basic animation support uh, and so, some of the customization uh, features are not that, uh, that good. Um, a lot of the charts look uh, very good out of the box, but if you want to fly and uh, customize it, then it may be a problem. So you, using the chart, uh, it, it's, it's quite uh, straightforward. Uh, you know, you, you create a, uh, a component, uh, you use one of the uh, main chart components here, you're looking at line chart, and then within the line chart you have uh, a, a child uh, component uh, which sort of draws out the x-axis and y-axis and uh, grid and uh, the lines so here yeah, you're creating a line chart and and and, and all you got to do you can just copy and paste this code and it will work so installation is uh, you know you can do the normal npm install recharts 
And there's a very large selection of uh, charts that you can uh, use. Uh, you can, you know, you've got the simple line chart. Um, you've got the area charts. And uh, you've got uh, the bar charts, different bar charts. Bar chart. So there's a big variety of charts that you can uh, use. Next chart we're going to be looking at is Victory. Now, Victory is developed by a respectable uh, software company, but it's also uh, but it's also maintained on GitHub, and it, it has a GitHub stars of seven thousand. It's built with a D3.js, has drawing support for SVG. Uh, uh, the main advantage of this library is that uh, it has a React native support as well, so you can use you can create the chart for desktop and uh, mobiles with the same sort of uh, API. No, and no other library uh, currently provides this uh, level of support. The animation is fairly good in this library and it provides some level of customization. And most charts uh, have uh, responsive uh, features, so it scales to any uh, screen size. It hasn't got a, a very large selection of uh, uh, charts that you can uh, create with it, uh, but it, it's, it's, it covers the main uh, charting uh, requirements for most projects. So it's got the basic bar charts, uh, area charts, um, and line charts, and scatter charts, and pie charts. Now in the docs, and I'm going to the getting started, it will give you a good uh, guide on how to uh, install and uh, get started. So uh, to install uh, uh, Victory, uh, you can just do npm install uh, Victory, and then if you want to use it in your project, uh, you just uh, include, uh, you know, you, you can include all, all the components, uh, uh, like they've done here, uh, it's all has V, and you're using all the components of Victory, or you can uh, just use the components that you want, so here they're importing uh, Victory bar, which is the bar chart component, so, and that will uh, render a, and in the code you just do Victory bar, and that will render a, um, sort of a, a, a default bar chart uh, without any data. Uh, but then you can uh, you, there's an, uh, go down, there's an example with some data there, and we're just uh, uh, attaching the data uh, as an attribute, and then let us specify the X and the Y uh, and labels. And you can take further, and uh, you, know, you can uh, provide the X and Y axis here. So this documentation is very good. Uh, it tells you how to uh, get started and how to do the styling. Next library we're going to look at is VizX. Now VizX is a library that uh, came out of Airbnb and uh, you can go to the airbnb.io slash VizX slash and uh, you uh, come to the home page for, the, for this library. VizX has uh, 12,281 GitHub stars, so it's a very popular uh, library. The main point is it's customizable, but it's a bit difficult to uh, get your head around. It has a good uh, large community and is well maintained. It's built uh, with D3 and it has support for SVG only. It's got no support for mobile. Uh, it's a client-side library. There's very good uh, support for animation in the sense that you mean you can use a React Spring. You might need to do a little bit of work to make it responsive. And there's a vast variety of charts that you can uh, produce with it, uh, as you can see from the gallery. Uh, 
And it has many, many uh, chart uh, types, uh, as you can see here. You've got the pie chart, uh, the brush chart, uh, basic bar chart, and you've got map maps that uh, work as charts as well. And you can do all sorts of customization, as you can see here. If I go back and uh, if I go and click on one of the charts, uh, you can get a code for them. So you will uh, import the components that you want, and uh, then you then you can specify the attributes and. Uh, and in your render, you just uh, add in the, the components with the attributes. So this is quite a complicated uh, chart. So this is a group chart. So uh, the problem with the VizX is it's quite, as you can see, the code is quite uh, complex. It's almost like using D3 uh, to uh, it's almost equivalent to learning D3, so it's it's quite in, you know the learning curve for this it looks uh, quite steep. Now, if I go into the docs, uh, the documentation does not really give you sort of step-by-step -step guide on how to create charts. It just sort of gives you the components and the API. So if we're going to shape, uh, I've got the different shape, then it gives you some sample code, which which is, uh, you know, if I click on the bar, then it will tell you how to create the bar chart, the API. But uh, it doesn't have any sample codes. So it, it's a bit, difficult to use the guide and if you've used if you're very good at D3 then this chart is very good for you but if you don't know D3 then you you will you will struggle with this so it's a very high level of customization uh, but it's very difficult to learn okay the next chart that we're going to look at is Nebo now, Nevo has uh, 8,100 8, uh, stars on GitHub. If we go to the About page, it will give you more information about uh, Nevo. Nevo is built on top of D3, and it provides a server-side rendering uh, capability as well. So, uh, as well as SVG, HTML charts, and Canvas charts, um, and it provides a server-side rendering API. So these are the four things that make make this stand out from all, all the rest. So these things could be a crucial uh, uh, criteria, you know, for your project. So this this is a very uh, good selling point for Nevo. We go to the gallery of the charts. It has a vast uh, variety of charts, very sort of a diverse uh, designs different uh, different chart types so as you can see here you know i've got the bar chart got calendar type charts map charts um, area charts tree charts so it, it has a good variety now the main selling point of uh, nevo charts is that you can uh, have uh, svg html or canvas so my, my, all the other ones only do SVG, so uh, this is very good. And the user guide is very good as well. It uh, gives you uh, very good examples of how, uh, how to uh, customize the charts. If you go into the, the storybook, it has uh, a big collection of uh, charts, demo charts that you can just uh, uh, copy from and use in your uh, uh, project. So these are sort of live charts that you can edit.
So if I uh, click on one of these, so I've got the group chart and, and I click on the story and I can actually see the code. So uh, this is how I import import. I mean, it's uh, the chart component. So I'm using a bar chart here. I've got theme. I think the theme is um, you can have a theme for it as well. Now, um, and the way you use it is, uh, you know, you, uh, it's a bit like victory charts. Um, so you, uh, so you pass in the attributes, the properties there, and you can have like this common properties and define it. Uh, the top, so I've got common properties for that chart, so these are the things that I'm passing you through. Okay, the next chart library that we're going to look at is React Charts 2. Now, React Charts 2 is a wrapper for Chart.js, the, the JavaScript uh, chart library. React Charts 2 has 3600 GitHub stars and it's a fairly Good maintained uh, library and uh, it's built uh, with uh, JavaScript. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's a wrapper for the famous Jart.js library. And it has uh, support for Canvas only. It's got no mobile support and uh, it's, uh, it's a client, li client side library and it supports uh, some animation. And it has uh, responsive features as well. Now this library has uh, up to eight eight charts that uh, you can use. A line chart, bar chart, radar chart, uh, bubble chart, area chart, mix chart, and donut chart. So, but this is the uh, uh, website for the chart JS. The, the React version is called uh, Chart.js2. So, but there's no documentation for this, not, not a proper one. Uh, but there is a uh, site that has a, a sort of a documentation, which is uh, 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 React Charts JS github.io slash React slash Chart.js slash 2. So, uh, from here you can see uh, some sample charts that you can use. So, if I go to click on uh, horizontal bar chart, and it'll, uh, you can get the source for this. If you go to GitHub source, and there you are. So, uh, the way you use it is, uh, you know, you import it like this, you know, from the re re charts. Uh, library and then you have your data set and in and then in the render part uh, you just uh, uh, call the component and uh, as horizontal bar uh, that's, that's the one we, yep we've uh, we're using a horizontal bar so we just uh, create an element, horizontal bar element, with the import data and options. And options is up here. So you can use this that way. Um, 